Good day to one and all. This is Dr. Sivram of INOindustries.com. So I will be presenting for this particular week, 4th to 8th of November. On 4th of November, between 5 and 5.30 GMT, the expected market moves for this particular week. In my webinar, Asian Session Live Market Analysis. So we follow the derived forecast and also the levels which are given or the statistically derived levels and fine tune using the market reading in order to understand where exactly the market is heading. So for that particular purpose, I will give the derived forecast. The algorithm based statistically derived forecast is given in the next page and this will be for the week. So in this, we will try to see the session wise how exactly the market is expected to behave, especially Euro and GBB, whether they are going to drop or rise and things like that. Then that will be a gross picture of the market moves. Then we will try to fine tune it in terms of the types of moves using the market reading technique. For that, we note down the initial lows and the highs from the other live market code page, this is the live market code page. From there, we note down around 3.30 GMT, in four majors and two commodity pairs, the initial high and the initial low, and also the net change. Then also refer to that of the GMT time frame, 3.30 GMT. It will be 3.30 GMT at which we note down the initial lows and the highs. Then subsequently, whatever the moves they make in the four majors and two commodity pairs, we try to identify what sort of moves they are doing it. Then later on, we try to find out what is going to be the next move. As I explained many times, that they make the extended move, that is just to keep below that initial low for two hours or initial high for two hours, and rewards, and make the intentional move. Then alternate with that of the extended move. Again, intentional move. So intentional move and the extended move alternate with each other. In between, you come across the session timings. So in order to induce the traders or attract the traders to commit positions, follow the charts and commit positions, they try to make the stop ends false move and also the swings in the market in between the extended move and the intentional move. So these are all the types of moves they try to make it in the market in order to attract the traders and also punish the traders who follow the herd mentality and try to commit more positions. And because of overtrading, when they hold more positions without a stop or without the hedging order, they try to make one big move like what they had done it on Friday, Thursday and Friday, and try to attract margin call. So let me, so in order to avoid such calamities, we use the trading strategy, basically using the hedging. That's what I have given it in fxtrade.net on Friday, that in such a market when they are making the drops or rise, it is wise to use the hedging order instead of the stop and try to limit the risk. Wherever you try to take a buy, they are trying to drop it. So you have to find out what could be the bottom. So immediately people will say that, okay, the strong support level, but so many supports they have broken and come down. So what is going to be the next support? Will be in a position to take buy position there or you want the market to settle down? Then once you wait for the market to settle down, then you find that they have already gone from that of the low set. So this is the confusion. In order to avoid it, we can use the hedging so that if the hedging is filled, we just watch for about 10 to 30 minutes. If the hedging is not making profit. We understand that they filled the hedging during that other stop and so we close it with a nominal loss at stop at entry and try to keep under the hedging order to limit the risk. And in the event, if they hedge and go below like Friday, they just dropped again and again. Then if it is hedged and the position is making profit, you can simply wait for the market to settle and form the new low. And later on, identify what sort of moves they are doing. If they have been doing the intentional move on the downside. So you wait for the two sessions and the start of the third session and then try to close the hedging with a profit when they set the new low and not breach the low for more than 30 minutes. 
then you find that we are safe and also we are able to do either way trades with the help of the hedging we are able to book profit on the downside with the help of the original position we will be able to book profit on the upside because they cannot continuously drop or continuously rise the market they have to make the market volatile only then the traders will use various methods to study the market and try to commit wrongly the position and also develop bullish and bearish feel only when they commit wrongly the players will be in a position to earn money the traders do not commit positions like before the announcement of the non farm payroll or the interest rate decision you find the market become really subdued and making only two three pips swing by that the players are not earning money so the players need to see that the traders commit first of all the positions based on the market sentiment created so last week beginning they created the bullish feel and you could have noticed in all the websites in the globe you find that people are giving high targets and they are bullish and things like that i'm not trying to blame anybody and that is how they induce the technical analyst to perceive the market and they just give the upward move in such a way that the market will appear bullish but if you try to take a buy position they will not show you profit and occasionally they will make the upward stop and at that time if you don't exit again the market will come to your entry level that sort of moves they have been doing it with a high level consolidation with the upward stop and in order to make the slide and the drop later on and as i explained that that was the last week of the month of october and start of the month of november so they are bound to make the trend reversal moves and the trend reversal moves are expected to continue in this week also and this time the downside moves will be much limited and they are expected to make more upward moves using the data release time as a trigger time so we will see how exactly they are going to make the moves in this particular week because we can do the market commentary and make a lot of comments with regard to what happened in the market but that does not help in trading and especially we like to know okay would have lost some money but we like to know what is going to happen in the market currently whether i can do a buy and sell trade or do sell and buy trade that sort of decisions we need to take in order to earn profit from that other market for that we need need to know that exactly what could be the possible moves in the market not if the market happens to come down it can come closer to that of the support or if the market goes upward then it can go to that of the immediate resistance we can say that but a trader basically needs to know whether from this time onwards whether the market is going upward or the downward so that he will be able to prepare for a swing trade so ultimately an analyst need to facilitate a trader because he is not capable of analyzing the market effectively so facilitate the trader to take appropriate decisions with regard to trade as i explained that it is not only the forecast which is going to help the trader besides the forecast he should be able to develop the mindset to read the intentions of the players and also use the trading strategy to limit the risk and maximize the profit and simply if i give the forecast in the event if the forecast go wrong then you stop and get out of the market i can say that but the traders are not going to accept it because if once the call goes wrong the next time he will hesitate taking that call for next trade that is why you find you honestly ask the traders all over the world okay you are taking the training from x and later on shifted to y taken the training or taken this subscription for 2 3 months then shifted to fourth and this is how you find that the traders are shifting from one analyst to another analyst what is the reason because your overall solution is needed for a trader and that is not been given so what i thought is it's not the question of money first of all the traders need to understand how exactly the market is making the moves 
and what could be the possible moves one should be able to envisage to set next term and then probably he can take trading decisions so if such trading decisions are taken then he will be able to slowly make profits from that of the market besides the most important thing is avoid over trading because when i take the call from x and see that okay you buy euro at 1.3445 then it bounces back to 1.3480 then you book profit then immediately you think that okay this person is giving me excellent call let me follow it then the greed grips him and what happens the next time when i give the call immediately he commits about five lots 10 lots exhausting all his equity expecting at least 30 pips bounce so that he will be able to book profit but the market moves 30 pips against then he sees margin call coming in so over trading is a main problem for that of the traders so ultimately we cannot earn the money what we expect to earn overnight so we may lose the money in just a few hours but to earn back that money we need several hours always we have to keep it in mind so if you want to earn from that of the market then you need to develop enormous patience and try to read the market carefully and try to commit small positions so that less risk and also try to take only re- less reward to start with and if the going is good then maximize the reward and that should be the approach in the trading strategy so it is not the question of the forecast coming through and things like that or the market reading coming through and things like that ultimately the trading strategy is very essential whatever be the type of forecast or the calls you receive from anybody so this is going to be the first week of this month of november so first of november was seen last week and fourth to eighth of november is the first week and here the market is expected to make volatile moves you know that prime data are going to be released during this particular week and so you will find the volatile moves with the upward bias the market is expected to make the upward move in the case of euro and gbp but will come across the volatile moves they already given the sample during start of this particular week and you know that euro formed the initial low at 1.3480 they came down for no reason simply to 1.3442 and come back to 3480 so it is an extended move on the downside and then they have gone up so even though gbv has gained i mean gbv has gained uh, initially and made one pip loss and australian dollar gained quickly because of the data and then they formed the new high and you know that commodity pairs lead the rally and lag behind you know very well about it so in this week today they are expected to make the swing and rise more during that of the japanese session then during that of the european session a quick rise is expected during the early part and later on they are expected to slide and you need to note down from today the european session will be from 8 to 14 gmt because the daylight saving system is off in us also from yesterday so from today's trading day it will be up to 14 gmt then 1430 the us session starts they will try to make a dip and use the traders to just become afraid and later on make a quick rise so they know very well how to induce the traders to become panic and make distress trades and they have been doing it all along and there is no one to control it and because <coughs> so you find <coughs> that the players are able to do their job very nicely and earn for everybody so when they earn for everybody then there is no one to question then tomorrow 5th of november they are expected to make a quick rise during start of the day and then slowly they will from the higher level they will try to slide and make a small dip during to a close of japanese session and start of the european session and start making a rise and then swing and form up slow gains are expected tomorrow 
Then Wednesday, they are expected to make a quick rise again during start, during the Japanese session, and then a higher level swing, and continue to swing and gain during the early part of the European session and slide. Then swing and rise move is expected during the, the European session. Then on Thursday, you know that BOE and the ECB are expected to announce the interest rate decisions and everyone is expecting no change, condition in uh, BOA announcement as well as ECB announcement. But they will try to make use of the ECB press conference like last time and say that ECB is hawkish and immediately they are expected to gain the levels and continue to gain the levels during that of the US session. And whatever the interpretation they give, we have to accept it. And in a few days, they will simply make the drop in the case of euro, and we have to accept it. That is how it is. So we have to understand the rule of the game, that they can give any sort of excuses, and they can interpret, give any sort of interpretations, and we are here only to listen to that and not to question. And later on, they will make a different interpretation for the same type of move, but we have to accept it. So that is how the market commentaries go on. So if you listen to that of the market commentaries more, then you are induced to become emotional. But if you simply ignore the market comments and find out what the players are trying to do it, then you will become a smart trader. Then on Friday, you know that non farm payroll is expected to be announced by 13.30 GMT because the daylight saving system is off. So, so far till last month, they have been announcing around 12.30 GMT. There will be a shift of one hour. So 13.30 GMT, they will be making the announcement. Also in the case of interest rate decisions, instead of 11 GMT, BOE will be announcing at 12 GMT and 12.45 ECB will make the announcement. You can just see it in the calendar if you want. So you find the calendar in FX Street and also Forex Factory. There you can see what are the dates and what are the events which are going to be announced. And that will help you to find out what time they are going to make the market uh, more volatile or just induce or make some spikes. So be prepared for that. And we know very well before the data release how they make the false move so we can simply enter during the, the false move and keep the hedge order to limit the risk and we should be able to capture the profit respective of the comments what others give. Then after that, they are expected to make swing and quick rise moves after the non-farm payroll. And already if you notice it and they are given a non-farm payroll that expectation is very low, 128 job last time. 148 and they are expecting much lesser 128k jobs are to be created in the non-form role and you know that irrespective of the data release they are expected to make the upward move so you just watch it this time then you will be able to understand that there is no point in giving importance to these things and ultimately most important thing is what they intend to do it, because as trader, we can only control and govern our trades, but we cannot govern the governments or give any suggestions to the governments. Next week, 11th to 15th November, will be the second week, and we will come across the trending move. So swing and rise moves are expected, and they are expected to continue the rise till early January. So... During the month of November, during the month of December, you will come across zero and GBP making further gains. So for that, they have made a quick downward move. What they had done it earlier in the month of October, uh, September, October, they gained the levels and booked the profit at a higher levels and afterwards built the sell positions. And now they are just accumulating the buy positions. And these buy positions, they will try to liquidate only by late December and January. So till such time, they are expected to sustain the gains in the case of Euro and GBB and also in the case of USDN and CHF. And then you will be able to understand how the players are really big in accumulating huge positions 
and then drive the market on the upside or on the downside. So these are all the expected market moves for this particular week. And this webinar is being recorded. You can just take a screenshot if you want. Otherwise, refer back to that of this webinar uh, on a daily basis. Find out what could be the possible moves and see whether the market is really making such moves. And if you find it beneficial, then you can make use of it. And with regard to the levels, which we could see in this particular week, and last week, the expected level was 1.36 in the case of Euro. From there, they had dropped about 150 pips. And today, they formed the low 1.3442 and started gaining the levels. And 3.825 could be the high in this week. And similarly, last week, the expected low was 1.61. And from there, they had dropped about 200 pips and they came down to 1.5900. This could be the low and from here, they are expected to consistently gain the levels in the case of GBB to 1.63. You know that always the ball, when it forcibly hit on the ground, the bouncing back effect will be much more than that of the usual. So that is what going to happen. GBB is now, make uh, on Friday, you have seen that GBB was making more drop when compared to Euro, which created the bearish feel. And now you will find that GBB, is will be used to create the bullish field and start gaining more level. Until that of the data release time, they will try to keep it uncertain and then later on make the visible gains in the later part of the week. Then in the case of USDM, this time around, you will find that it is going above 100. 98.50 could be the, is the statistically estimated low and 98.67 they are shown and they could go above that of 100 this time. Then in the case of CHF, 9475 could be the low, 9114 they have shown it, 9450 could be the high. Till 9450 they will slowly gain the levels in the case of CHF and afterwards you will find the quick moves happening there. Then in the case of Canadian dollar, 1.04 could be the low and 1.06 they could gain too. Then Australian dollar from that of 0 0.9750 area they dropped it to 94 area and then started gaining the levels and they are expected to gain to 96.50. It will be a wide range swing. The case of Australian dollar as well as the New Zealand dollar, they had finished the multi-year trend reverses, so they will try to consolidate here. And this time around, Euro and GBB are going to take up to that of the multi-year trend reversals in the year 2016. So till such time, you will come across the gains happening in the market, like 2008. Now coming to that of the market reading, let me open the live market code page and refer it. See, Euro formed the initial low 1.3480. That was the low till 3.30 GMT. By 3.35 GMT, they made one quick downward move. In the case of Euro, 1.3442, they came down and stopped cutting the new low. And after 30 minutes, they bounced back and they have been holding below that of 1.3480 for nearly about one and a half hours to two hours. Now you find it has gone above. So it is a typical extended move on the downside to create the sentiment, but they did not drop. So don't think that any bounce back is a dead cat bounce back and try to sell. And that happens to be the lowest level sell. So they've gone above 1.3486. Extended move is over and they intend to make the intentional move. Intentional move will be for two sessions and the start of the third session. So now Japanese session, they make the extended move. And intentional move will start once they go above that of the high. During that of the European session, they will go above that of the high and stay there for more than 30 minutes and start gaining every 30 minutes. So from that of the European up to US session and then tomorrow Japanese session, they will make one quick rise as to reverse it. So that is what you come across in the forecast also, that quick rise during start of the Japanese session tomorrow. And from there, they will slide as an extended move for two hours and then start gaining the levels. 
So I'm try to relate the forecast along with that of the market reading and the type of moves. Then you'll find that they are doing exactly the same. So it formed the high one point three five zero two, which is not breach. And in the case of <coughs> so, in the case of GBP, one point five nine one seven was the one seven was the uh, initial low. They came down to one point three one point five nine zero three, but within thirty minutes they came above that one point five nine one seven. Started gaining the levels now. So it was a stop point on the downside in the case of GBP, but it was an extended downward move for two hours in the case of Euro. Then in the case of Yen, 9867 was the low, which is intact, and 9885 is the high. They are not breached the low or the high. They are simply consolidating with a narrow range. Whereas here you come across the ranges have become slowly higher. Then in the case of CHF, 0.9114 was the initial low. 9132 was the high, but they went up to 9152 and they are just holding below that of 9132. So they will try to consolidate here before making further rise. Now we come across the contrary end move that euro is a negative net change, whereas JBB is a positive net change. USDN is a positive net change. JBB is a positive net change. JBB is a positive net change, and CHF is a positive net change. These are all the contrary end moves you come across. So when they do contrary end move, you know very well they are handling with respect to crosses. Then coming to that of the Canadian dollar, one point zero four one three is the low, one point zero four two five is the high. They set and they cut the high and gone above and then come down again. They are expected to make a downward stop and and then start gaining the levels. Either way, stop ins and the consolidation could happen in the case of Canadian dollar, and it will be less participating in the market when they are making a rally. And similarly, Australian dollar zero point nine four 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 is the low, and zero point nine four nine five is the high. They made one quick gain, and then they are consolidating here in order to make a slow intentional move on the upside. So. Will come across Australian dollar slowly gain in this particular week, not big wide range swings, and they are expected to slowly gain the levels. So, in the case of Australian dollar, they are not breached the initial low or the high; they are simply consolidating at the moment. And the net change is higher when compared to these currencies. So, obviously, Australian dollar is expected to lead the rally to start with on the upside. Then followed by that, GBP is expected to gain the levels. Finally, euro is also expected to gain the levels, and USDN and USDCHF are expected to make the contrary in moves, and they are not expected to make the corresponding drops. They may bro- probably make brief downward stop and below that of the initial low if needed, if the stops are accumulated there. Otherwise, they will simply consolidate and gain, consolidate and gain. In the case of denominator currencies, also coming to the other market reading and trading, as I explained, that when the market is near the other low and not breach the low for more than thirty minutes, and now you find that <coughs> so they formed the initial low one point three four eight zero in the case of euro, and staying above this. And one can take a buy position here and keep the hedge order just below 1.3480, and then once they start gaining the levels of 25 pips, keep stop at entry and see that it goes above that of the initial high and then goes up. Normally, what analysts say that once it goes above that of the initial high and stays, then the technical trade is given. And instead, you can identify when they are just above that of the initial low itself. You can take a buy. In the case of yen, you come across a narrow range swing happening, and it's similarly GBP, and it is slightly above that of the initial high. They had done the downward stop, and, sorry, initial low, and they had done the downward stop and, and quickly gained the levels above fifty nine seventeen. And holding it in small dip, you can take buy. And Swiss franc also, they are going to 
come closer to the river low. Then when they make a downward stop and one can take a buy and then it will go up. Then Australian dollar also, now they are in the closer to the river high. If it breaks above the river high, you can take a buy. Otherwise, as you can see that it has made more spread and a small dip. During the start of the late Japanese session, one can take a buy around 9470-72. Then it is expected to go up. So this is how we decide on the entry after watching the market for 30 minutes from the start of the session. Then still we use the hedging order or the stop if the hedging facility is not available in order to limit the risk. Once the position makes about 25 pips profit, keep stop at entry and remove the hedge order. If it is kept away, 30 pips away from the market, then you trail the stop in a profit making position and then subsequently keep 45 or 75 pips limit and the market could either hit your trailing stop on the downside or the limit order on the upside. The limit order, you can maximize it and just move it 15 pips away from the market and the trailing stop can be 15 pips below that other market and trail up. So the market can either hit your limit or the trailing stop so that your profit is grabbed from the market. Then between trades, always give 30 minutes time because we need to find what is going to be the next move and then try to take another position. So always give a gap. Don't be addicted to trading and calmly wait. You will find good trading opportunity. Whenever the quick moves happen, if you try to enter into the market, and you know that they always make quick moves as a false move before the intentional move. So if you understand that, you wait for the quick moves, then you become an opportunity trader. So that whenever good opportunities come, you are able to grab that and not simply take the position when the market is in consolidation and simply waste your time. Now, with regard to the market timings, even U.S., the daily saving system is switched off from yesterday. So from today till March, we'll come across these are all the market timings during the winter session. So Japanese session is from 0030 to 730. 730 to 8 GMT will be the gap time. Then 8 to 14 GMT will be the European session. And further subdivisions are also shown here, early, mid, and the late sessions. So early and the late sessions, they handle the majors. And mid sessions, they handle the crosses. Then 8 to 14 is the European session. So European session gets one hour expended and your session starts by 14.30 GMT. One hour than that of the earlier time frame. 14 to 21.30. It is extended up to 21.30 instead of 20.30 GMT. Then 21.30 to 0030 will be the gap time before the start of the next day. And always keep in mind that they handle only two currencies at a given time in order to handle the crosses and so wherever you come across the spread is more then you try to commit the positions you'll be able to quickly book profit wherever the spread is less if you take a position you can aim only for about 10 to 15 pips profit so let me now take up the questions which are asked here and try to answer to those questions Then grip. Can we expect quick recovery in euro? So 1.40 can be seen in a week or two. Uh, no, as far as euro is concerned, that we could be able to see by month end uh, reaching 1.40. They will not make such aggressive gains now. They will slowly gain back the last levels this week, as I explained. Aussie is also expected to gain levels, but not to that of the multi-year highs, as explained. That multi-year uh, moves are over in Aussie. And so next multi-year time, they will come across above parity, not before that. Then Mohan Kumar, what will happen? Euro yen in this month. Yeah, when yen is expected to make a consolidation and rise, and euro is also expected to make a consolidation and rise, and you will come across Euro yen also to gain the levels. That's why last week they just hammered Euro yen and GBP yen to accumulate buy positions. Then Jack, how to avoid confusion between 
initial high low for 233.30 and initial high low for from live market code based. I humbly request you to note down only from that of the live market code page and not from the trading platform. Whatever is shown here, you just note down. That will be the initial lows and the highs. And you know that the day start low and the high are set by that of the interbank treasury for the day, depending upon the last day closing. Later on, the players try to hit the stops on the upside or on the downside and form the initial lows and the highs for a purpose. So, don't try to use your argumentative uh, approach. Instead, you blindly follow it because these are all indications. So, follow those indications. Don't try to use your logical reasoning for it because in the platform it will differ. And you know that there are platforms where you come across the downward stop and below that of the initial low, upward stop and above that of the initial high on their own in order to earn money from their own clients. So, uh, don't get confused with those things in while noting down the initial low and the high exactly by 3.30 GMT. And now this GMT time is different here. You follow the GMT time from anywhere else. And I have taken the GMT time from fxtrade.com homepage. There the GMT time you can set. And then you note down exactly 3.30 GMT, what is the high and the low. Hope your confusion is resolved. Then winner FX. Quick moves happen usually during news release. Yes. See, they, why they have to necessarily make the quick moves? We just ask a logical question. See, if they are really interested in accumulating buy positions, they can simply keep the buy orders, slowly buy. You know, if, uh, see, the data is very bad for US dollar, then where is the need for them to quickly make a gain or rise in the market? And if they are really smart and intelligent, what they should do, they should keep the buy orders and continue to absorb all the sellings so that they have a lower level buy. But what happens during the data release? Before the data release, they accumulate the buy positions by making downward stop and also downward move. And they need to make moves in such a way about 300 to 500 pips, they have to drop it. Only then the traders out of margin fear liquidate the long position. Otherwise, no trader will just like that accept loss. Keep that in mind. So, they have to really force the traders to liquidate the long positions. After the long positions are being liquidated, and also in order to earn back the last money, the traders tell sell in the market, aiming for another 50 to 100 pips so that the last money can be recovered. Because all the analysts will be telling that the market has become suddenly bearish. And everybody will talk about US economy, European economy, and the UK economy. And so, it will it is bound to change the mindset of the trader. Yeah, I had done a wrong trade of taking a buy position in Euro after seeing the bullish. Now, there is a trend reversal. So, the trend has changed. So, let me sell. So, you will try to sell and try to earn back the last money. So, what the players have to do that they should not allow such traders who have taken the sell position after the drop to make profit. Afterwards only, afterwards only we will be able to make, uh, they can gain the levels and as a result, we will be able to uh, earn. I'm sorry. So, that is very important. One need to understand that. So, once uh, they accumulated the buy position, they have to quickly gain the levels in the market. Why they have to quickly gain the levels in the market? So that they will be able to exit when all the traders become bullish. That is why you come across, during the data release time, such quick moves happen. Then Sundaram, if price is at middle level, how to take a position? If it is in the middle level, avoid it 
and during the early and the late sessions they will be definitely near the low or definitely near the high then there is some problem okay, sudden dust i'm not able to understand why there is a sound problem so no more questions so i take this opportunity to thank fx street uh, for the facilities provided to present the webinar and also i thank you people who have come here to listen to my webinar and kindly find whether it is really happening in the market and if you are convinced then you try to use it for your trading decisions don't blindly follow just because i have said because that is not a good approach anybody for that matter they should be able to reason out and they should be able to logically find that it is really happening in the market get convinced then later on you can make use of it so that what happens you know when you blindly follow a person if something goes wrong immediately you start hating so avoid that you follow in or follow any person any analysis after finding that it is considerably giving good result for a long time you know, that should be your approach so i'll come back on 7th of november and try to do the market analysis and the review and also at that time i'll just recollect the forecast what i have given it for this week and try to see that so how what exactly has happened in the market whether the market has moved in tandem with that of the expected market moves or against it can be either way but we have to see how consistently the forecast is coming true then also the levels what i have given they are all mathematically derived levels so there can be a slight variations from that but ultimately we need to see whether the trend is being maintained in the market because exact levels where the market is going to reverse it is next to impossible to predict we can say theoretically some support but there is no guarantee that the market has to turn around there because nobody is there to move the market in such a way so that come exactly to that of the support and reverse it they will try to hit the steps below that of the support and then reverse it so always keep that in mind so thank you one and all see you on thursday wish you all happy trading and calmly trade take less positions so that there won't be any market fear thank you one and all